When the authorities at St. Paul's asked me to share a few thoughts about what I think about the old school and what it means to be a Paulite, I paused for a moment, but then I thought, let me speak spontaneously from my heart. My mind raced back to the year 1981 when I joined as a six-year-old and the arc came full circle in the year 1993 when we left after being sixth formers. So from six to six, a complete life journey. And the journey has lived in our hearts, it stayed in our hearts. And I think all of us Paulites would share that feeling. School has a central place within us, in our hearts, in our minds. And that is testament and proof of how special a place it is. A few things about school. While it was not the, it was not the Ritz-Carlton, but we were well looked after and the great bonds that we formed, the fraternal bonds, the bonds of friendship which have endured over generations, I mean, and over uh, decades and generations from one polite family to the next are remarkable. I think that's very precious. Second thing is, of course, the sheer grandeur and majesty of school. I mean, the sheer vista of the Kanchanjanga shimmering orange in the sunset, another day shimmering silver at dawn. It's absolutely magnificent. I remember the curvature of the October sky, planetarium-like. We lived in an idyllic, beautiful, majestic place that can never be taken away from us, that precious experience. The second thing is, I think there were great values. There was a sense of ethos in school. And it's very remarkable because we still, in our uh, school song, it says upward the old schools calls. And the school itself is very old, of course, but the song also is very old. So an old song calling it the old school, you know, it just strikes you that heritage, that glory, that majesty set amongst this sylvan Himalayan environment has a beauty and charm of its own. And I think that's why St. Paul's also has a great future, because it is a place like no other. We must value that. And, of course, there is this great sense of spirit, what we call the SP spirit. I realized this when we went for our reunion, we were all in chapel. And I observed that people across religions, whether Muslim, Parsi, Christian, Hindu, people of all callings, while at chapel, felt this sacred bond between us and the sacred bond with school. And I remember we read this prayer, reread this prayer after many years. To my mind, it summarizes what we call that, you know, that nebulous, subtle power of what school means. It's called hills to climb. It's in our prayer book. It used to be during our time. Throughout my day, let there be hills to climb. There is scant zest in mastering the plains. For loitering, for rest, there will be time when daylight wanes. Let my horizon ever be a hill which I must reach, although the trail be steep, up which to climb with energy and will before I sleep. Not in a valley let me end my day. I would have heights to gain a clearer view. Therefore, for hills I pray and strength to climb. Dear God, to you. And I think this spirit of reverence, the spirit of absolute uniqueness, has shaped a basic nobility that St. Paul's has instilled and bequeathed us with. It has this special place amongst all educational institutions, not just in India, but it is utterly unique in the world in many ways. We must cherish that. And whilst we regale ourselves with stories, schoolboy stories of our antics and adventures, there is this other very sacred, beautiful thing there. With that thought, you know, I think that summarizes this spirit of doing better, of being better in every way, of being civil, of being noble. And that's what I think a polite, uh, that's what the, uh, being a polite truly means. Thank you. Moniti Meliora Sikuma.